Hey guys, so this is going to be a little bit of a sombre video really, as you guys have read from the title. We lost little Lily, she passed away. I'm really thankful because we got to spend so much time with her and we took on so many adventures and she actually died on one of our adventures together. She wasn't very well anyway, as you guys know, and I thought I'd take her away anyway, try and cheer her up. And we got to the place and she settled in. She's all cosy and tucked up in her little bed. So a few hours later, she kind of started to wiggle around and then she went into the bathroom and it looked almost like either she had a stroke or she had a seizure or something, but she went completely limp and she completely was floppy. And then she came out of it again and was looking at us. And then we thought, Maybe we'd have to put her down because that had happened a few days before as well. And she was whimpering a little bit and Lily doesn't really whine much. She's pretty hardcore. We started driving about half ten, quarter to eleven at night to the vet. We found an emergency vet to see if, if they, they could help her, but quite likely we'd have to put her to sleep. She was 17, took her to the sea one last time before we got in the car to go to the vet. She could hear the waves crashing against the shore. And then we took her into the car and just drove. But we never made it to the vet because she passed away before we got there. It was really peaceful. I was there stroking her head and she wasn't on her own. And that's, that's all I could ask for. We didn't have to put her to sleep. She died peacefully in Tig's arms and with me there next to her in the car that we used so many times on our adventures together. So that was really, really sad that we lost Lily. There's still going to be some more videos with her in them. It's actually helping me you know, editing them, them together and seeing all the great memories we have together. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you'll already know that we lost Lily. But there's a lot of you guys that don't have Instagram that wouldn't necessarily know about that. So I thought I'd let you guys know. Though it's hard, it's going to be hard this Christmas without her, you know. But can't ask for more, really. That she had such a good life. And she started off as a rescue dog. We got her sort of 16 years ago from Battersea Dogs Home. She was only a year old when we got her. And she was found in a bin bag in Green Park in London. And she went from that kind of life of being scared and frightened to being happy and peaceful, never wanting for cuddles. She was our little travel buddy. And she was my best friend. And I know, like, some people look at pets or dogs as just that, like a pet, but they're part of the family. They have unconditional love. There's a bond. It can't be broken. I know. I'll see you again. Sorry guys, I've got a little bit. It's going to be the first Christmas. Yeah, she hasn't been here really for the last 16 years. And the first Christmas I haven't brought her something. Which gets me onto something a little bit different. If any of you guys have a dog, I have Lily's. It's like her winter jacket. I'd like it to go to another little dog that would make use of it. So if anybody wants it, she was a collie slash whippet, so it's that kind of size. You can wash it in a washing machine and tumble dry it. Reflective as well, so it's quite handy. So if anybody would want that, then let me know down below and I will post it to you guys for free because I just want somebody to make use of her, her coat. So that's it. I'm going to be doing like a tribute to her at some point once all our adventures together have finished. So that'll probably be sometime in 2020. I know you guys really liked her. I used to read comments that you guys had written. She'd always be on my lap or curled up next to me while I read the comments. It's really hard not having her here. But I'm so, so grateful she died the way she did, naturally, with us on one of our adventures. And I don't think that could be better, really. We got her to the vet anyway and she checked her over and she said she'd passed away. And then we went home on the Monday. So two days later and we drove her body home and we buried her in the garden and it was quite emotional really. Everyone said goodbye and she's got a little kind of plot in the garden now. We're hoping like in the new year to plant a blossom tree. We also went to the park that she would spend so much of her time with me. We went there and we lit lanterns for her and released them up into the sky which was really nice to do that. It was quite moving to just see the light going up, 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 up. It felt like a nice way to sort of say goodbye to her. So sorry it's a little bit of a sombre video guys, but I just thought I should let you know about Lily. She was a big part of my channel. She's on my intro, so, you know. I don't think I could face making a new intro at the moment. I kind of like it that she's on my intro. So I think I'll keep her on there for a while. It feels silly, but I like just seeing her there.
yeah so thanks for watching guys and thanks for your support and everything and for all the love that you've given Ruby so far and me and Tig really appreciate it thank you to all the people that follow me on Instagram that gave us lots of lovely comments about Lily really appreciate all of you for doing that appreciate all your support guys really do